for my birthday, I got a combat patrol for an army I've wanted to play for a long time. The Drukhari, who are a race of elves who are evil. They're these pirates who go to worlds, steal these really amazing, powerful artifacts, and then get out of there, usually with slaves who they can torture in their home. What I'm going to do is take you through the process that I follow as somebody new to the hobby, when I'm trying to build out an army for the first time and I'm trying to figure out what units are best to buy. If you do have any advice for new players like me, please leave them down in the comments because a lot of us new players really struggle on how to build new armies. Let's jump into the process that I follow and works really well for me at the moment. The first place I like to start is the Orspex Tactics videos because they tend to give a good overview of the different army playstyles as well as the strengths and weaknesses and he just does a really fantastic job. So what I'm going to do is just search for Drukhari Perspects Tactics. I just give that a quick search and uh, we can see obviously a few different videos here. How to start a Drakari army? It was a year ago, but I can see it's using the new Combat Patrol and Codex. And given that's roughly when this was bought out, I think that should be pretty relevant still. He does tend to have these for each of the armies in the game, I find. Let's just watch through and see what he suggests uh, doing and how to start a Drakari army. So basically he's just talked through uh, the current strengths of the army and I like this because he covers the playstyle. And one thing he was saying is the fact that Drakari are all about getting into melee, uh, cheap transports and they're good with missions. So this is from a year ago, it may be a little bit less relevant with the missions but I think in general from what I understand these guys are all about the melee. So his next chapter is about planning the army which is perfect for us so let's take a look at what he's got to say. What he was saying there was they work really well as small patrol units and I think that's still the case now even with the Nephilim uh, changes because this is how they play. So he's saying that it's actually really easy to build these up as smaller patrols. They rely, again, he's emphasized the fact that they rely on transports, which is great, and they are fragile, but they help the units get up the board quickly. From there, he's talked about the combat patrol as being a really good place to start, and if I can help it, and the army has one, I do like to start with a combat patrol. Not only is it good value, but it just gives you a bunch of units to start as a core of your army, and then you can always tack on other units once you've got that built out. This is Drakari specific as a video, but I watch his, his content for any army that I'm looking to start because it's a really good overview from somebody who plays the game a lot on what's strong and what, what's not so strong and where to start. So I think at the moment I'm just logging that the combat patrol is a fantastic way to start. We'll put a pin in there and, and take a look at other places, but that's a really, really good thing to know that this is a good usable combat patrol. In that section, he was just talking about the fact that um, you can expand onto witches, raiders, succubus, and halions or reavers, which are just a few different units. What I'm taking from this video is combat patrol, 100% makes sense. And then from there, it's about expanding out into things that it doesn't really have. So it doesn't have witches, doesn't have succubus, and it doesn't have halions. So let's see what he says next. In that final section there, he's just talking about some currently strong units. Again, this was a year ago, but I'm going to just note down the fact that uh, Drazar and Incubi are a really potent mix of units, so it'll be interesting to see if that's still the case. Uh, he's looking at Mandrakes for objectives, as well as Scourges and Rex. So again, he's mentioned a couple of them twice, and in my mind I'm like keeping a log of that, because if not just Auspex Tactics, but other people mention these units, it, they're probably a good buy. Even though we are meta chasing, it's good to know that we have a strong starter army. Now from there, I do like to go to the Reddit for our army and just see what people are saying. So I go to Google and search for, in this case, uh, Drukhari uh, Reddit. And then it's going to be this top link here. And then what I like to do is search for Combat Patrol in the Reddit search at the top here. So Combat Patrol, and we're already filtering on the uh, the army's Reddit that we're within, which is great. I then like to filter it down by time. So past year can be good, depending on the age of your current army. I'm going to go on past month and just see if we can get some relevant results from there. 
So I can see a bunch of things here. Drakari Combat Patrol. I'm just opening these in new tabs. I've found around 10 discussions that seemed to have meaningful titles, and I'm just going to read through those and see if people are still recommending the Combat Patrol. So let's take a look at that. I've looked through all those discussions and the Combat Patrol's definitely worth it. Now with my wife already having got me this Combat Patrol for Christmas, I've got one, but I would have done this research for any army anyway. One unique thing in my case is a lot of people are recommending going for two Combat Patrols because it gets you a lot of the core that you need in the army and it saves you a bunch of money too. So what I'm going to do from here is just spin up a spreadsheet with some titles and just start logging down things that I want to buy. What I've done is created a very simple spreadsheet where I've got the unit that I'm interested in, if it's in a bundle or not. So what I mean by that is if it's in a combat patrol or when we get to Element Games, if they sell some unique bundles, uh, the cost of it, as well as the points um, naked without any upgrades, as well as just some room for notes. So I'm going to add in each of the units from the combat patrol just to see how it comes out on points and give us a loose idea of costs as we start building things up. I've added the units in there and I'm going to leave the cost out until I'm down to looking at pricing when I'm interested in purchasing. And I've left the points off for now because we'll take a look at Battle Scribe when we get to that stage. Just running through the units, we've got an Archon, Cabalite Warriors, uh, we've got 10 of them and it looks like they can be run into groups of five. We've got five Incubi, we've got a Ravager and a Raider, which ties into everything that was suggested in the Auspex video, as well as what's recommended in the Reddit Combat Patrol uh, search that we did. So as I said, I'm going to buy two of these, so I'm going to just duplicate this list. So that feels like a really good start. And what we're going to do is go back to Reddit and just do a different search here. We're going to search for list. And if we just search again within the, the Reddit for our army, we're going to just make sure that's down onto the past month again. And what I'm looking for is people searching for lists and list advice is one of the most searched for things and commented on sorts of posts within Reddit. What I'm going to do is just take a look at what people are breaking down as lists they're looking for suggestions on or things that they're about to build and take to tournaments because they'll have done a bunch of the work for us. So let's just open again a bunch of these in a new tab and see what stands out to us. That was really helpful to go through. It looks like there's somebody in here called Skari. He plays a lot of tournaments. Looks like he does a lot of YouTube content as well. And I've got a bunch of units from not only his discussions, but other discussions that there seems to be a lot of crossover of what people are running. So what I'm going to do is just add these to my spreadsheet. You should do the same for your army before we do the final step. What I found there for my specific army is a homunculus and succubus are typically taken. They're HQ units, so we'll probably need those. And then I've listed out the other units that creep up a lot. I'm noticing people are also mentioning uh, raiders. It looks like people are running maybe three raiders and one ravager, but we'll have to see where that gets us with our final step. And that final step is to go to our website and look at the top four winning lists from tournaments, basically the most recent tournaments that have been played. So what I do is I go to Goonhammer, which is one of the most popular websites around and they've got a, a special feature where they review the top four winning lists per faction. I'll put the link in the description. But what I do is I go down and I look for Drakari. Um, so I just do a search usually on the page, click that and go down here. So we can see basically the recent wins that Drakari have had in tournaments. And what we do is if you click on one of the names, it will bring up the list that they use. Um, but before we get into that, what I'm looking for is something that follows the theme I want to play. I notice with people winning tournaments, they're obviously uh, using the very strongest units in the army, but they're also not necessarily in a place where they care about following the theme. So to give you an example, I notice with Chaos Knights, people are often running Abaddon with the Chaos Knights, and that's not something I'm interested in. If I'm playing Knights, I want them stomping across the battlefield in the enemy's face, and running them just because it's optimal with Abaddon isn't what I'm about. So I'm looking for the same thing here. I'm looking for a Drakari list that has a good mix of units, 
so I can play my friends and have a good time. The first list I've found is actually a really good example of what I was just talking about. So they are running some units here from Drakari, but this looks like a Harlequins list where they're just spamming one sort of unit and I'm just not interested in that. So I did end up finding a list which I think looks perfect for me. And the way I know that is I'm scrolling through and they've got the HQs and we've got an Archon, we've got a Homunculus as well as a Succubus, as well as Drazar, who we were seeing is recommended a lot, especially in the Auspex Tactics video. We go down and they're running these guys, which are basically an upgraded rat and then we've got these blood brides who are witches and then we seem to have a bunch of cabalite warriors now in the combat patrol box they come in tens and it looks like people actually run them as groups of five or at least this list does so i assume they're running around grabbing objectives and the good news is two combat patrols will get us all of these uh, warriors that we can run in our units so that's perfect for us. From there, we've got Incubi and we've got basically 15 models, so three units. Our combat patrol has both of these, um, but it looks like we probably need another one. And then we've got two Hellions as well as the Scourges, and we've got three Ravagers, one Raider and two Venoms, which comes out at 2000 points. Now, I really like the look of this list. It plays into the Drakari style, in my opinion. And for your army, you should find something that just sort of makes sense. It doesn't need to, to be completely amazing in the current meta right now. As long as it's a blend between what you've been finding on the Combat Patrol recommendations on Reddit, as well as what Auspex Tactics says. And for me, there's a lot of, of blending between all those different discussions and I'm really happy with this. From here, we're going to build out the list in Battlescribe to give us an idea of points and make sure everything fits properly. Please hit that like button. It really does help channels like mine and subscribe while you're down there too. Okay, so I've got that set up in Battlescribe and I think it took me 15, 20 minutes and I've literally just copied it from the list we found. I haven't done anything more complicated. Then added the HQ units as well as all of the units they recommend with all the upgrades they recommend. From there, I'm going to go back to my spreadsheet and just add these units so I can start working out costs. Now, I don't think I'll end up using this points uh, naked column in the end. Uh, I was adding it because I thought it would be useful. But I've got the points from uh, Battlescribe. I don't need to duplicate that work. I think where this might be useful is if I'm just trying to work out uh, maybe a newer army like the Leagues of Votan, which I do have. And I want to know what the naked points are so I can get myself to loosely 1,700, 1,800 points. And that leaves some headroom for upgrades. So I know I have a good list and it gives me some flexibility just in how I play them on the battlefield. So the list's now been added into the spreadsheet from Battlescribe and basically I've gone through line by line from Battlescribe and added them over. We're looking pretty good. So what I'm going to do now is uh, go over to Element Games. For you, just go over to whatever makes sense in your country. Element Games for me, I know gives me a good 15% off most of the models. So just find the most reasonable place online or look on eBay and see what you can do. But I'm just going to head over to Element Games and price this up really quick. Okay, so I've just finished adding everything over from Element Games to the spreadsheet. Where it made sense, what I like to do is just split it out into the individual boxes I need to buy. So I need 10 racks in the list and had them down as 10 here, but I just split them out into how many you get in the box. So two boxes of 10, £22.50 each, but like the witches, you get 10 in a box, so that's just one box. So I've broken it down a little bit so I can see the total price, and that comes to £396 for a 2,000 point list, which is pretty much what you can expect with Games Workshop stuff. Now, I did get the first Combat Patrol uh, for my birthday, and uh, so that's great. That knocks that price down a little bit. Everything else, while I was going through Element Games, and you'll need to do this on the website you tend to visit, it seems like there are, there are different bundles. Now, I couldn't find one which had either everything in stock um, or that I wanted. So some of them, like the Cult of Strife box, 
does seem like it will have everything I need. So that will bring the price down. And once I've recorded this video, I'll take a look at that properly. But that would save me a little bit of extra cash. But that's how I actually price the list, just so I know what I'm getting myself in for. And from there, I would go ahead and buy it. So that's what I'm going to be doing with this army. That way, I've got everything that I need to build in one place. Even if it takes me a while to build it, it means that I can be getting on and playing games as I build up that list. What I would say, though, is it doesn't make sense for everybody to buy up 2000 points as a way of getting started with an army. And I would actually discourage you from making that same sort of choice because it probably makes more sense to build up 500 points or 1000 points and play the army at that level to get a feel for it and if you like the units. This is just the way I like to do things but it doesn't mean you should do exactly the same thing. But following this method does mean you have a very good idea of what costs are going to be involved to get yourself to 2000 points and from there you can pick out which units you want to buy first to play a thousand points game and then over time you can start shipping away and buying additional units it's just my preference that i like buying all 2000 so i can get started and play with it so that will be my next step from here um, and then I'll start building these on stream, uh, which will be fantastic. So that's the final list, and I'm really excited about building this army and can't wait for the models to arrive. I'll very likely be painting these on stream, so if you're subscribed to the channel, you should get a notification when I go live. I can't wait to see you there.